Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about my five Behringer synthesizers. I make a lot of videos about them because I've invested into five of their synths. For me, the Behringer synth adventure all started with the Model D. Its ability to do Moog really niche classic synthesizer lines with ease. It became a synth that just landed in every single live jam, every single track I did, pretty much all contained the Model D at some point or, or in some nature. It instantly found its spot. And even though it might be limited compared to some other synthesizers out there, even with its limitation within sound scope, a lot of it is very usable. And when it hits a sweet spot, that sweet spot is very nice. So with the Model D being my first experience, I was honestly blown away with what I got for the money from Behringer. After that, I wanted to get a little bit more exploratory. I wanted to go a little bit more of a direction I haven't gone before. That choice was the Neutron. The reason I went the Neutron is semi-modular. I've never had a hardware semi-modular piece ever. It's always been software. So the idea of the Neutron was to have that piece that's different, something I didn't know, something I could explore within my setup. And I am guilty of not exploring it enough even to this day. We all have so much stuff in our studio. I have honestly not patched enough on the Neutron, but just the oscillator section and just the knobs themselves, to me, in my music, it can just fit in itself just using those.
but the aspect of the unknown is what got me into the Neutron, that expandability of the patch bay. So after that, the Pro 1 came out and that was one I was just waiting for. So that ended up being my third jump into the Behringer zone. I was having great times with my Model D in my Neutron alone. I was amped to go up to number three. My gosh, did the Pro 1 bring a lot to the table. really filled in a lot of voids that were missing when I had the just Neutron and the Model D. In my opinion, definitely has more, um, I say diversity than the Model D, but keeps that creaminess and uh, just smoothness in the sound. The Pro One and for the price tag, again, was just an amazing buy. And that was three great experiences in a row with Behringer. So I rocked them out for a while, guys. You know, th that was my three horsemen.
That was the real hardware backing of my live jams. And then the most recent pieces of the puzzle landed last week. The Behringer Crave entered my studio. And then by surprise, I got a gift of the TD3 pretty much the same day. I think it was the day after. Even though I physically paid for the Crave, the TD3 just kind of took over. It really fit my vibe of some of the jams I've been doing recently with kind of the electro industrial thing. start playing with the Crave and maybe a few other pieces over the next few days as the Crave is the focal point of my learning. Um, really get down the pieces and the sounds I'm going to want to start um, harvesting from that machine. So within the next week or so you should start seeing all five of these Behringer synths stacked up together into one live jam session and once that starts it's going to get really interesting. I'm, I'm really happy to see where this goes. So that is pretty much my Behringer experience and why I love them, you know, is because I've just had a really just amazing experience as a consumer. But beyond that, I need to thank Behringer for doing this for me, for allowing me to get these pieces and for other people all around the world. I really appreciate what you guys are doing for the musical space. Some people may hate on your gear. Some people may hate on me for liking what you do. I already know you don't listen to them and I don't listen to them. But keep doing what you do because it's amazing work. And beyond Behringer, thank you for taking the time to check out this video and support this content. Without your views and the Patreon support, I wouldn't have motivation to pump out content pretty much every single day, push my dream forward, and evolve my channel to what it is now. And as always, stay positive, stay creative, support each other, and peace.